chemistry is indeed a form of art. And in that respect, chemistry is much broader than nature. And I really think that chemistry is a universal solvent. Um, we need to come up with solutions that are applicable to the Asian market, to emerging countries, you know, because um, what works in the first world doesn't necessarily work here in Asia. So we need to come up with solutions that actually address these issues um, using chemistry, using the R&D that we're doing now. Chemistry plays a role everywhere in creating um, the environment people want to live in, um, to create the uh, comfort zones and uh, transportation everywhere things are changing based on materials and systems which are created from these materials. The urbanization rate in Indonesia I think is quite relatively high compared to a lot of countries but in Asia I think it's, it's quite normal but the, the main point is we need to make it as sustainable and also uh, applicable to as many people as possible. It's a huge honor for BSF to welcome all of you today to this event, the Science Symposium, celebrating 150 years of the SF. As a hundred-year-old shop, Basif has a history of 150 years. Basif is not only far from the past and future, but also far from the future and future development. We hope it was mentioned by 2030, about 60% of the world's population will live in urban areas, compared to 54% today. Urbanization and economic growth goes hand in hand. Productivity increases with urbanization. We at BSF look forward to the opportunity to listen to you. No, it's fish. And near future, 50 years later, human beings. That there is always change. The change is constant. We cannot stop it. We cannot be looking backwards. We need to be looking forwards to look at the change which is coming and to look at it honestly. I think Asia has the challenge and the opportunity, right? Because Asia has uh, a lot of sort of catching up to do in terms of urbanization, if you will. Adopt the most latest innovations and technologies and really be ready for, you know, the 22nd century. The uh, industry construction itself is more uh, labor intensive uh, uh, industries. So therefore, there are such kind of different market needs from the other industries like automotive or food chain. And in urban living, water is a major challenge in the future since we know there are waterborne diseases around and we need to make sure that we have safe water and we have a supply continuously, means 24 hours a day. Quality of life is not only specific to the certain thing where um, I want to have more, but I think it's also a sort of a sharing, a sharing concept and sharing the resources, but still keep the certain quality of life. What the problems we can face in the future, how, how uh, the scientists and how the industry people and how BSF is playing their role to contribute to the, those problems is really very interesting. We, we try to develop new characters of buildings which in say have a much lower consumption of energy, but not to reduce the comfort. Uh, we keep only the right essential parts to tell the story and we erase the rest and connect to these pieces new built structure, new city fabric. Looking at this table, you know what all visible matter from the planet Earth to the end of our universe is made of. There's nothing else. These are the bricks and we know them. It's fantastic. But due to the supramolecular knowledge, you can make them in a way in which you control the dynamics of everything as you see. Every 10 to 15 years, you can double this uh, mega city because people all want to live in a big city. Nature is able to take something very weak and make something very tough out of it. One more time, we have to do this together and we have to much better listen. 
to our outside world, to understand and to really focus on the right topics and the right materials, to meet the needs and then together with our partners outside. Chemistry creates its own field as it develops. It does not necessarily pre-exist. We make it exist.